Hi, this is Dave from True Cable, and we've been working with Conduit, or starting to work with some Conduit here, and uh, thought we'd show you some things as we go about doing it. We've got all the tools here and everything, so why not? So first thing we're going to do is show how to measure and cut a piece of Conduit. And uh, for most of you, I'm sure that this is obvious, but we're going to start at the beginning, and so this is it. We use a tape measure, which is very good for this because it has this little clip that hooks on to the end of the conduit. We're going to cut this to three feet. And I'm going to mark this so I can see it all the way around the circumference of the tube. And that helps to keep the saw straight as I'm cutting. To make sure that we get a square end. Believe it or not, this little hacksaw was available at the same store. We got this. Doesn't mean that this is going to cut through that. Maybe it would in a while, but uh, we're not going to try it. We're going to try this one, which is made for more productive pursuits. Um, I'm going to clamp my pipe to the table just to keep it steady. I'm going to hold it with my other hand here. And here we go. Take it really slow at first because you have to get a little groove started. And that takes a while, usually. Hey, Dave. Um, yeah. I think I might have a better solution for you. I think this bad boy might do the job. Whoa. Well, okay, she has a hacksaw, it just goes really, really fast. So that's how to cut it off, but that's not the finishing point. We run low voltage cable, and we have to make sure that as we pull cable through this pipe, that the jacket is not abraded at all. If it is, it can affect our data rates. So we have to make sure that there aren't li any little pieces of steel left on the end of this that are gonna cut into that cable jacket or somebody's fingers. So you use a file, and that works best. Go around the inside, too. But if you don't have a file handy, sometimes you can use a tool like this and just go around the inside of the pipe. Well, this tool's a little small, but go around the inside and then use the jaws to go around the outside. And you can get it pretty clean that way, too. So, that's how to cut off a piece of metal conduit and measure it. Feel free to uh, add your take in the comments. Um, please uh, check out our YouTube channel. And um, clicking on the bell will definitely not affect your credit score.